Well, the latest Indiana Jones thriller, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, has taken an unbelievable $40 million in the first five days of its release. And that uh, figure should certainly put a smile on the face of producer George Lucas. Hollywood reporter Jim Brown visited uh, with Lucas at his Skywalker Ranch in Northern California. It's not easy being an actor. Harrison Ford has learned that firsthand working for a producer like George Lucas. It's happened through the Star Wars trilogy and all the Indiana Jones adventures, including the latest, The Last Crusade. Ford and other actors know that George Lucas likes his characters to get physical. That looks great. Lucas, here with director Steven Spielberg on the set of the newest indie adventure, told me that just as Star Wars ended at three, so will Indiana Jones. The movies of George Lucas may be defined as being in the commercial mainstream of Hollywood, but the filmmaker himself and his operations are at the other end of the state. This is Skywalker Ranch, over 3,600 acres an hour north of San Francisco in the rolling hills of Marin County, the headquarters of the cinema empire known as Lucasfilm. All of the buildings are new, but made to look old. For example, the large white frame Victorian mansion that is the headquarters building. The tech building resembles a large winery, but holds not wine vats, but a recording stage, dubbing stage, mixing rooms. They don't actually photograph movies here at Skywalker Ranch, but they do just about everything else. It's, it's isolated, it's completely, uh, we control all the hills, so nobody's going to be building large structures that, you know, the idea was is that you live in a nice environment. And especially for filmmakers, we spend, you know, a great deal of time working. And uh, so what's the point in building a beautiful house and everything and then not being able to spend any time there and working in a, you know, an unpleasant uh, environment? This is a facility that's designed for pre-production, which is mainly writing scripts. We have a very large research library, music library, video library. And then uh, it's a big post-production facility. This, this part that we're in here is, is the post-production facility where we do all the sound work and the editing and, the, and the, all the finishing of the movie. Lucasfilm Game Division is located here. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is in the works. A few miles away in San Rafael is the Lucasfilm division known as ILM, Industrial Light and Magic. Here, the special effects are created. George Lucas now wants to move all of ILM from San Rafael onto a piece of property which adjoins Skywalker Ranch. Not everyone in these parts agrees it is a good idea. You can get into a political arena. And once you're in the political arena, then logic goes out the window and people's self-interest comes into it. And uh, I think that's what's happening here. George Lucas says he expects the Land Crusade to last for a number of years. Jim Brown, NBC News, on Skywalker Ranch near San Francisco. There you go, George well, Lucas. Uh, Steve, they moved their facilities up. That's probably one reason they never won Oscars, because they just moved away from Hollywood and they make such... They make movies the way movies are supposed them. To you can think in the country. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in terms of Last Raiders, I heard one reviewer say, well, nice, nice movie, but it's sort of like the old ones, and you ask your kid how to make a movie, it's not a good idea anymore. <laughs> Everybody else is excited about it, though. Jonathan I don't know. saw it at the yeah. weekend. Absolutely adored yeah. it. He just when, thought it was. When nice. I would see the other one, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I spent more time watching the kids yeah. than yeah. watching the screen. Yeah. They were having a great time. I so can't was I. Wait to I see can't it. wait to go either. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Well, coming up next.